twist of University Motors. We've got another couple of minutes just how something works on an MGB. In this case, it's a 1968 through 1980 MGB gearbox. This happens to be an overdrive gearbox. We got the short extension here and not the long extension for a normal gearbox, short extension. But I want to talk to you about the reverse, engaging reverse. Now, you know when you put your, your gear lever in first gear, first and second, that gate is unloaded. The third, fourth gate is loaded. You push it over there, it wants to pop back into the first and second gate. So the gear lever naturally sits in the one, two gate. And it needs just that little bit of spring loading to go over to the three, four gate. But to go into reverse, oh my gosh, you cannot pull properly. You cannot pull your gear lever into reverse. Why is it so hard to get it into reverse? Because if you're in first gear and you're doing some heavy duty shifting, when you pull it back, you want to make sure you hit second, not reverse. So reverse requires a slap of the gear lever to get into. That's effected two ways here inside the gearbox. First of all, there's a spring. I don't know if you can see this spring way down inside here. But as we push this guy over here, that's our, our reverse gate there. But he presses over pretty easily there. But watch what happens when we take this, the, the spring, the spring and plunger. Sometimes it's just a ball. In this case, it's a, it's a shaft with a hemispherical end. I'm a firm believer in grease. I love grease. And grease is your friend. If you put grease in here, it won't, um, it won't jam up. So sometimes that pin will jam upwards. And when it jams up, then you cannot, uh, you cannot engage reverse. Excuse me, Enga in engaging reverse becomes extremely easy when it jams up. If it jams down, you can't engage reverse. This is a 5 8 this is accessible underneath the vehicle. So now when we push him over, we, it, it isn't so easy. We have to push harder. Before we could push, I, I'm pushing. You can't see the strain on my thumbs, but. Mm. Well, point made here. That, uh, that got very difficult to engage. You can use a hammer. There, okay? But we cannot push it into place. We need a, a slap. And that's what you do up here on the gear lever is to slap it into reverse. Another thing that can cause the same type of problem is a reverse light switch, which is jammed down. And then it becomes very difficult to get into reverse. But both of these are accessible right above the cross member. This is where the cross member lies underneath the car to hold the um, rear end of the gearbox up against the frame. It's right up here on the passenger side. So you can get to both of these. So if you have a problem with reverse, if it's extremely difficult to slap into so that it makes it uncomfortable to drive, just take out the switch, take out this plunger assembly, Grease them up, put them back together. If on the other hand, it's just effortless to push it into reverse, same thing. Take both of them out, grease them up, it'll start to work okay, for sure. Make sure you visit my website, University Motors LTD, join our newsletter, and when, when, the, uh, when the time is right, push that, that PayPal button. Appreciate that, always. Hey, look forward to seeing you at our next Zoom session, and until then, safety fast. <laughs>